Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new video. It has been a long time since I've actually played any ROM hacks, and this is the first one, like, just in forever that I've played. This is called Pokemon Quetzal, and i seen that it was pretty cool looking, and I definitely want to test it out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into playing this game. So, um, looks like we gotta do a new game, and there's, I'm, I haven't checked out at all, so this is all brand new to me, so I'm just gonna go normal. And then looks like there's a difficulty option here. And I'm gonna stay with the default for now. And it looks like it's just your typical like Pokemon Emerald ROM hack. All right, everyone calls you the Pokemon Professor. This is what a Pokemon looks like. All right, um, I'm excited to see what the characters are. So we have the Hoenn character. Uh, okay, we can do Johto, if we, can we go back? Okay, it looks like we can select between a bunch of different characters. We can even choose Galar characters. Oh, we can do Marnie. All right, we're doing Marnie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name myself Marnie. So we're gonna role play as Marnie in today's episode, okay? All right, there we go. Marnie is our name. Yes, let's go ahead and do this now. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be taking place um, basically like the Pokemon Emerald, like the normal, yeah, it's, it's like the normal um, just intro and stuff and we're in the Hoenn region. So I'm excited to see what the main differences are between this game and the original Pokemon game. So uh, let's just get through the tutorial, I guess. It's so weird seeing Marnie's sprite there. Marnie, we're here, honey. It must be, yeah. Okay, so this is just, if you guys ever play Pokemon Emerald, if you haven't played Pokemon Emerald, then I don't know what's up with you. All right, so we have our mom, like she, so we set our clock and stuff, and now we're going, oh, we can already run. You start out with run shoes in this game. Um, Let's see here, we got a lot of different stuff. I don't know what M player is. I'm just gonna go ahead and save my game. All right, so we start out with 10,000. This is like a, what is this? This is like a very different trainer card than we're used to. I thought it would have like the stuff on us, but I guess not. Oh, can we literally access our PC from anywhere in the game? There's no way. We can literally access our PC from anywhere. And eggs as well. I don't know what M player is. Choose number of players. Wait a minute, this game has multiplayer. Are you serious? Bro, I'll, I'll test that stuff out later, but right now we're in single player. I don't have anyone to play with me right now. So let's just go ahead and continue the story and see if it differs in any way. <clears throat> oh, yes, you can even run indoors. That's amazing. It seems like they took a lot of stuff from Pokemon Emerald, like I guess most ROM hacks do, and just enhance the gameplay. All right, now this is the part that I'm most excited for, and this is the part from Pokemon Emerald where you get to select your starter Pokemon, and I'm excited to see what starters we're gonna have in this game. Okay, still getting chased by the Zigzagoon, so like that's still the same. Let's see what our starter Pokemon can, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why well, is there a Zigzagoon just spawn on the screen out right there? But it looks like we can literally select any starter Pokemon. All right, I'm going to see if I can go with Galar region. I guess I'm going to try to go with the newest one just to see. Oh, we can pick more. We can pick, bro. We can literally be Marnie. Morpeko is Marnie starter. Um, Let's see what other Pokemon we can select from other regions, like Alola region. We can select, bro, there's so much stuff to select from. Looks like the older regions only have like just a little bit of stuff, but still some really cool ones. The, the Sinnoh, the Hoenn region has a lot. The Johto region gives you Togepi. The Kanto allows you to pick between Pikachu and Eevee as well as the original starters. Um, I'm gonna go Galar. I'm gonna stick with my role play here of Marnie. We're gonna pick Morpeko because that's like, that's like her Pokemon, right? All right, this is our first battle against a Zigzagoon, the Marnie sprite looking legit, my dudes. And the more Peko sprite just looks like it fits in the game so perfectly. All right, Thundershock it is. Um, let's see how much damage this does. I feel like more Peko is... I was gonna say not that strong, but almost one shot of this little Ziggy. Oh, uh, we're getting into hangry mode now. We just... Dude, this is so... This Pokemon fan game, this, this ROM hack is so in depth. I should play more ROM hacks, honestly. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys think of this ROM hack so far and if there are any others that are just as amazing as this one so far. Alright, so I'm wondering if we're literally just playing through the Hoenn region as Marnie. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, there we go. We are the official owners of our own Morpeko. We are Marnie. I guess we will nickname this Pokemon just for fun. Or is it Pico? I can't remember. Is it pronounced Peko or Pico? Pico. We'll call him Pico. I'm gonna call him Little Pico. Alright, if you work at Pokemon, they gain experience, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it kind of kind of be awesome just just to play as Marnie. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just <laughs> Bro, your Pokemon follow you. Yes. This is the greatest Emerald ROM hack I've literally ever played. We have a Morpeko following us. What nature did we get? Bashful nature, uh, I guess could be worse, right? Okay, it looks like this whole area here is still the same. Um, right now, really only the Pokemon and the player character are the only main differences in the game. I guess uh, as we move forward, we're going to see more differences, especially here in the grass. Like, I want to see what's going to spawn in the grass. Maybe I should. No way. Pokemon spawn in the overworld they have overworld sprites bro there's a zigzagoon right there what else spawns here there's a bidu how do how do we get to it 
Oh, we walk on top of it and it counts as an encounter. No way. Yes. A Pokemon ROM hack with overworld encounters. There's no way. Come on. Come on. This is too good to be true, my dudes. All right, Boodoo. If I don't have time to catch you, you're out, my dude. Get out of here. I'm excited to see. Oh, there's a rat. There's a rat. Looks like all the first, like all the first route starters from every Pokemon game is here. I'm going to go ahead and heal really quick and then go up against me. There's a Spinda. Bro, there's so much stuff going on. What's this guy doing here? Okay, for any Pokemon to use, naturally means you're welcome to use it too. Okay, okay. I guess everyone is pretty much the same. Like, it's the same as Emerald version for the most part, but there's a lot of improvements here. This is an amazing Pokemon game. Bro, look, this game even has Hill Balls. That wasn't even introduced until Generation 4. There's, like, so much stuff. There's, there's just, it's just a lot of, like, uh, quality of life updates to Pokemon Emerald version, basically. All right, let's see what May has in store for us. Oh, there's a Rookity. There's so many, like, cool Pokemon from Sword and Shield and everything here. All right. May. Let's see what your starter Pokemon is. All right, we're gonna see what May has now. Um, she has three Pokemon, bro. We lost this battle. Okay, level three. We can take it out. Morpeko is tough, my dudes. But Bulbasaur is gonna resist this one hard. Okay, okay. That's actually not that bad. And now we're going into hangry mode, so we're gonna destroy, my dudes. All right, here we go. Bulbasaur is now dead. This might give us a lot of experience here. Gets level six. I'm not sure, like Morpeko's learn set. I never actually used Morpeko in the actual Pokemon. I only got ten experience for that. Okay. I guess they don't want you to be like super over leveled early on, I guess. Oh, yes, yeah, Squirtle. Okay. Easy. Thundershock is going to die easy. We literally. Oh, we got a crit. We got a crit there. One shot at it. Level six. Let's go, Peko. Pico. However, you guys want me to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. All right. Her last Pokemon is Torchic here. Um, Let's see. Oh, man, dude. More, more Pico is just insanely tough. And it's just kind of annoying that he transforms after every, after every move. So. That's a speed boost, Torchic. Maybe I should have picked Torchic. I, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Okay. But it doesn't matter. Torchic's out. We defeated May. Taught her a little lesson in what it's like to be a real trainer. And there we go. We defeated Trainer May. All right. I think May wants us to head back. I'm excited to catch some new Pokemon. This is just... There's so many Pokemon to use. Like, I'm not even sure which ones I'm going to actually use in the game. All right. So, we got a Pokedex now. And we also have Pokeballs. That means we can now catch our first Pokemon ever. Our first ever wild Pokemon. I'm, I'm kind of nervous to see what to find here. I'm going to talk to the NPCs. See if there's anything different. All right. Can we just run into wild Pokemon like normal? Or is it only through the overworld encounters like that um let's just go ahead and heal really quick and then i guess we'll move on to the next route and see what pokemon spawn over there i'm excited to see uh what we can find because ralts was one of the starters and i'm wondering if ralts still spawns on route two like it did originally all right here we go we are here now um i wonder if pokemon can spawn in the water there's a nidoran dude there's a nidoran on that route i'm trying to think of what pokemon would complement ours um I'm not sure. Okay, it's gone anyway. There's a worm. Um, I don't really need that Pokemon. Let's just move on to the route here. We got a trainer to face, I guess. All right, let's defeat this person really quick and see what they give us. Galarian Zigzagoon. This game just gets better and better. Just seeing all the new Pokemon in the... the Third, third gen 2d sprites is just something i don't know it just does something to me it's like super nostalgic all right there we go get out of here ziggy all right we got 30 experience this is the first time we actually got decent experience for killing a pokemon to be honest all right where's all the good spawns at come on out all right there's a female nidoran i don't know if i really want a female nidoran can only one pokemon spawn at a time or is it like multiples i think only one at a time can spawn uh there's a grubbin grubbin would be so cool but it evolves such late in life so don't think we're gonna do that one okay looks like you can off screen the pokemon there's a Sowaddle. Dude, there's so many cool Pokemon. I might go for male Nidoran here. All right, let's go for the male Nidoran, guys, and see what we can get. All right, level three. This will be the first Pokemon we add to our team. Oh, I was about to say, what's that on the screen? There's R there. Is that a hotkey for throwing a Pokeball? All right, let's weaken this thing, and then we'll see if that is a hotkey for throwing Pokeballs. Hopefully, we don't kill this thing in one shot. All right, perfect, and we paralyze it. This is going to be perfect for us going on to catch our Pokemon or whatever. And now we can see if that R button is a hotkey for, for catching Pokemons. Or what is the R button? I guess it means R, like if you're playing on the game, but I need to check and see what my hotkeys are. Okay, so looks like s is my hotkey for that so if i press s it does throw a pokeball i wonder if you have more than one pokeball if you can alternate between them but there we go we caught our first pokemon guys it is a nidoran and yeah this is gonna be this is this is i'm having so much fun right now playing this you guys i'm sure you can see it on my face this is just a unique like fun way to play pokemon and nah we're not gonna end in this one all right i guess let's move on to the next city there is a trainer there there is another trainer here um we're gonna go ahead and heal really quick and then maybe we'll train 
train our Nidoran on those trainers just to get it a little bit stronger than before. I do want to take on the first gym today and see like how difficult that first gym is going to be. I guess we also have the cussing here with our dad or whatever just to see what's up. All right, so it looks like for the most part, this is an exact remake of Emerald version. I don't know if they actually made any story changes besides like which Pokemon each player has. We can see what Wally's going to catch here. Okay, just a regular. Looks like we're using a Farfetch level 100 of False Wipe this time to capture a Pokemon. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty much Emerald version with um, like a lot of characters and just a lot of different stuff. We have more options here that I didn't even see. We have the Dex Nav now, which I don't even know that does. Oh, bro, it literally tells you what Pokemon spawn in the route. This is like, it literally has like the best options from every game and it's in the best Pokemon game. Emerald version, it's the best one. Don't at me. Um, so, oh, I definitely should have put um, other Pokemon in the front. Ah, oh, Wooloo. I definitely should have put uh, Nidoran in the front, but I did. this would probably be a very fun game to Nuzlocke and I've seen very, very little gameplay of this game. I'm wondering why no one's really covered it. There's definitely a lot to do here and a lot to see. Um, so I, I think it deserves some respect out there in the Pokemon ROM world. So I'm definitely gonna- Oh, we have a EXP all. I really don't even gotta switch Pokemon to be honest. Oh, we found a potion. Alright, that's a good feature there too, is that there's a- It leaves a little item ball there. I wonder if that- Okay, it's broken or empty. So- I'm, Oh, there's our Ralts! Uh, I'm not gonna catch the Ralts. I thought that's pretty rare, but you know what? We're not gonna capture that. There's a Scatterbug. Um, we have some berries here as well. Alright, we'll continue to battle rest trainers on this route just to get that experience for Nidoran. We need an amazing team, especially since we're going up against the rock type gym. Um, so Morpeko is going to need as much help as he can get. Or she. I just keep saying he. It's a Pico and it's a she. I apologize. All right. Morpeko grew to level 8. Um, Nidoran grew to level 5 in the last battle. So that's all the trainers we have on this route now. Um, I guess let's go back to the Pokemon Center in uh, Petalburg. Oh, wait. Never mind. We have more Pokemon here. All right. Well, after this battle, we're going to go to the Pokemon Center in Petalburg Woods. And then we're going to go through there. And then we're going to make it to Rust Burrow City. And from there, we're going to fight our first gym leader and probably get our first gym badge. I'm excited to see uh, which Pokemon they, they decided to give her in this game. All right. On the road again. Route 104. Um, I'm excited to see what spawns here. Um, wait, there's a, there's a trainer. We need to battle. I guess we need to battle all the trainers we can. We actually probably need to catch another Pokemon. I need to see what spawns here. If there's anything good. All right, Nidoran's level six now. Nice. Oh, we got a Brave Nature Nidoran. Actually, not bad. Actually, not that bad. All right, what Pokemon spawns in this grass? Uh, we got Lily Pup. Let's off screen it. Or maybe you can't off screen it. Caterpie spawns here. Do they spawn? Do they have Overworld Shiny Sprouts? That's one thing I need to know. If you guys know about this, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really tempted to catch this Lotad because Lotad. Lotad is an OP Pokemon. Um, that could definitely be insanely useful on our team. If I see that Lotad, I'll probably catch it. There's a Sea Dot as well. Sea Dot could be cool too. Oh no, I accidentally walked onto a Wurmple. I actually like Wurmple as a Pokemon. Like I, I would catch it if I was playing an actual playthrough of Emerald version, to be honest. Dude, Lady, Ladybug is huge. Okay, I guess we can get a Pokemon to spawn on that patch of grass and then come down here and see what spawns in this patch of grass. Keep doing that. Maybe we can see Lotad. Lotad seems to be pretty rare. Hopefully I can get one to spawn again. This is definitely the way to do it. See like that. We can get Pokemon to spawn so frequently now. Poochiana, that's first one I've seen one of those. Okay, I don't have time to wait. I'm just gonna go through the forest. That's all I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the Pokedex to see what that looks like. Okay, so it literally looks like just a regular Pokedex and then I gotta go all the way down to the very end. I can't even. If there was like a faster way to get to the bottom of the generation Pokemon, we can actually see how many Pokemon are in this Pokedex. I'm wondering if every single Pokemon is in this game. There's There's gotta be no way. They were able to get every single one of them in here, right? We're almost to the bottom now. And bro, they even got Calyrex. Oh my gosh, they got all the Pokemon in here. Glacier, they got, they got got all these Pokemon from generation eight in this game. That's insane. There was more Pekka, more Peko, more Pico. Can we like see information, like learn and stuff like that? No, nope. it's just like the two. It's just like the same thing you would see. They spawn over there. Okay. Okay. Look, we even got a little Marnie Sprite above my head here. You guys can see it. That is, that is crazy. All right. So there's, there's uh spawns for like literally every single Pokemon, I guess. Maybe I wonder if the legendaries have their own little stories and stuff. I guess eventually we will see, right? I really enjoy seeing the, the Pokemon in the wild. There's a Combi there and he's like stuck in the cut scene but yeah so basically like being able to see any pokemon you want to capture makes it so much easier than having to waste time to encounter every single pokemon i'm just really wondering this guy is a marine i'm just really wondering like um are you able to this is level nine pokemon too it's gonna be kind of tough oh it was peg as well like well, i'm trying to finish my sentence but i'm just wondering if they spawn wild will they have like, their wild sprites um if you guys know any of that information down below or the game creator or the rom creator or whatever be sure to let me know that'd be cool to see if we could like shiny hunt on this game to see if we could find anything um if there's like any special effect that it does whenever it spawns wild Ooh, more got to level 10 and learn power trip um it's a pretty powerful move 
actually. Yep, so the story is exactly the same. I don't I don't think there's actually any differences at all. So that part of it is not that fun, but there's a lot of features that if added to a unique game could make this the greatest Pokemon ROM hack of all time, in my opinion. All right, I need to rank up to level nine just then and learn a double kick, which is gonna be extremely helpful for the rock type gym. Oh, there's a Scyther. All right, I gotta catch that, right? I gotta catch this Scyther. That's just, that's one of my favorite Pokemon ever since I was a kid is Scyther. It's just so cool. Go ahead, Nidoran, and if you can get us a little bit of health knocked off on Scyther, that'd be awesome. Because then we could we could throw a Pokeball at it, don't kill it. All right, um, I guess let's see if we can get lucky here with the first Pokeball. I'm not sure how many Pokeballs we have, to be honest. Come on. And yeah, this is gonna be a tough catch. It's gonna kill my Nidoran. Vacuum Wave? Oh, that was a critical hit, but not very effective. Um, yeah, so, all right, let's try again. Hopefully it stays in the Pokeball this time. Come on, stay in there, buddy. Dude, this is a tough Pokemon to catch. I'm not even really sure how we're going to weaken this thing, to be honest. Might not be able to catch it. I'm probably going to spam balls and just hope that eventually it just gets stuck in there. Okay, you got two crits in a row on those moves, so it is what it is. More Pekka would definitely one-shot Scyther here. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do except for spam Pokeballs, and I really want this Scyther, so it wiggle once, though. That's, that's better than what we've been doing. Come on. Come on. Oh, dude, I thought that was it. We wiggled twice right there. That was that could have been it right there for sure. All right, we've got to run away. I don't want to get sent back to the beginning of this forest. It's super annoying that we don't get our Scyther here, but it is what it is, boys. The good news is we made it through the forest. Um, Our Pokemon are basically dead. Oh, we got a sweet apple. I'm assuming we can evolve Flapple with that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, since it hasn't happened yet, I'm assuming that you can't encounter wild Pokemon on the grass um, through the traditional way. I'm assuming that it's only done through uh, whatever, what I'm trying to say here. Come on, don't battle me. Okay, good. I only have one Pokemon anyways, but we we did it. We have made it to Rust Bro City. I'm gonna heal up really quick and then I guess we're gonna go straight to the gym, my dudes. We're gonna go straight there, take it on. I think Nidoran's gonna be pretty pretty tough here, but I got a feeling that we're gonna be super underleveled. Nidoran, this is your chance, your time to shine, Nidoran. What do you gotta say for yourself? All right, we're here at the gym. I think I'm gonna lead, a, lead with Nidoran. I think that's the best way to go. We'll see if double kick is enough to be able to knock these guys out. Oh, level 10 Kranidos right off the bag, bro. That sucks. All right, double kick it is. Oh, we almost got, we got flinched on the first are you serious bro <laughs> we're gonna have to go train we are 100 percent gonna have to go train okay we just got wiped uh almost knocked out this crane of dose but that's our first wipe in the game we are trash we would have lost our nose lock there need ran i'm taking you to the training area um to get you some training all right there we go level 10 that's pretty nice i think level uh, i'm trying to remember what level it is he evolves at level 16 maybe level 14 oh there's a meow there. that's pretty cool wait a minute i was looking at the bag look at this z crystals mega stones we have two insane things here. You can Mega Evolve and use Z moves in this ROM hack. It just gets it it's getting even better. Evo slash forms. There's so much stuff in here. All right, the training is going well. Nidoran's already level 11, two levels from when we started fighting the gym leader. Um, I think just a few more trainers and then we ought to have. Maybe getting level 12, I think that'll be able to know. I don't even know, honestly. I hope we can, I just want to win, man. All right, so this guy here in Emerald version has a bunch of Magikarps. Uh, let's see if he's different this time. Still has Magikarps. <laughs> Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed? Oh, he actually has a different Pokemon this time. Um, I guess still kind of like Magikarp, but worse. I don't know. There we go. Level 12 off the wishy-washy. That's awesome. Oh, and he has a Feebas. Dude, this is... I guess battling everybody is a good way to like expand your Pokedex because then you can like see every single Pokemon and potentially be able to find them all, I guess. All right, now that we are level 12, we're going to go ahead and give the gym another shot with our Nidoran. Uh, I, I hope this is a good idea. Got a feeling it's not going to end when it's end. Oh, this person, oh, we didn't beat him the first time. Oh, okay. This time we're back and we're back with revenge, dude. Oh yeah, double kick almost destroyed him, but so did that pursuit almost destroyed us as well. All right, there we go. We actually defeated this person. A little bit more attack there and we wouldn't have been able to knock out. Uh, the Cranidos in one shot, which would have been awesome. Okay, I definitely want to battle one at a time. I think that's the best way to go. So I'll battle these trainers really quick, and then we'll go ahead and take on the gym leader. Oh, dude, look, there's a Roly Coley that I keep saying it, but it's just so weird seeing Generation 8 Pokemon with these sprites like this. Hey, Pico Grid level 12. Nice, nice. All right, here we go. This is the real challenge. Either we're going to win, or my name's not Marnie. Hopefully, we can get this just out of the way. Let's see what Pokemon she has. I'm excited to see. I think she's going to have some crazy ones. Um, Okay, never mind. She's going to have. Oh, I was going to say a Geodude that's like a regular Pokemon, but. It is the Alolan variant of Geodude, so we'll double kick this thing. And bro, that did that did nothing. That <laughs> this is gonna suck, isn't it? Uh, stealth rocks. She's she's setting up the stealth rocks. Oh, of course she uses a potion. Of course she uses a potion. All right, I think this double kick here might knock it out. Come on, can we get it? Yes. 
Perfect. That should get us level 13 as well and get us a little bit stronger. Uh, I'm not sure what her other Pokemon are or if they have the same defensive levels as that Geo dude. Oh, yes. Poison Sting. Not a good move for this gym, but definitely a decent move. We'll get rid of Leer for that one. Okay, Rock Ruff is coming up next. We one shot at a Rock Ruff earlier, um, so I think this is a perfect chance for us to do that again, honestly. Went for the bite. Are we going to flinch? Okay, I was about to say, we, we were so unlucky. A critical hit. Dude, that would that would have been so nice if we got a double critical hit there. Okay, we can knock this thing out. Alright, went for the bite again. Just don't flinch. Nidoran flinched. Of course he did. Alright, we're going to go again. Don't get the double flinch. Nidoran gets the double kick. We got a potion in our back, so um, we do have that. I uh, don't know what her next Pokemon is going to be. That's going to depend on if we use the potion or not. Uh, Aerodactyl. Okay. Um, Aerodactyl is different, man. Because it's such a... It's such a strong Pokemon, too. What? All right, so this is tough. This is tough, for sure. I don't know if it was really going to do too much to it. I guess try to get it poisoned. That's the only thing I can think of. Double Kick won't do much. Peck won't do much. I guess the Poison Sting. We're going to have to try to do something here because I think more Peck goes in to finish this one off. All right, we just got to hope that we can knock it out with a Thunder, thunder Strike or Thunder... Thunder Shock or whatever we have on here. I don't know if it's Thunder Shock or Thunderbolt. But here we go. More Peko. I didn't think I was going to use you for the rock type gem, but you might come in handy here. Come on, get a paralysis. That'd be the biggest, that'd be the biggest W right there. Biggest W. Oh, he missed a supersonic. Yes. Yes, there we go. Okay. Pico transformed into its hungry mode, and Thunder Shock is going to paralyze. Come on, get the paralysis. Get the paralysis here. Supersonic misses again. Yes. Dude, we are getting so lucky. I think the next Thunder Shock might be enough to finish this thing out. Come on, knock this thing out. Please knock it out. Come on. Come on. Yes. Critical hit, too. Yes. <laughs> there we go, guys. That's what you want to see right there. Pico got 490 experience. Are you serious? We got so much experience for knocking out that Pokemon. Almost all the way to level 14. And we defeated Leader Roxanne. There we go, my dudes. Please hit the official league stone badge. Marnie got a thousand dollars. And we got the stone badge now. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess that increases. All right, so we got rock tomb, rock gem. Um, I was gonna say if we get the rock like Z crystal, it's over. All right, but that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. This was a very new, unique, fun thing that I did on my channel today. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. If you do wanna see more content like this in the future, be sure to comment down below, giving me suggestions, or just go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future content like this in the future all right so with that being said god bless you guys and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching